right, guys. Welcome back to the ALGS channel. Hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far. A lot of drama specifically to dive into and discuss in today's video. So if you guys want to stay up to date with all things in the world of Apex Legends esports, then of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We're here to talk about ranked, some situations going on with Apex Legends and some accusation updates as well. So let's dive into it. Firstly, wanted to make mention of his Watson. This was honestly a really good, uh, you know, showing of sportsmanship and on the sportsman chef <laughs> sorry i don't know what that laugh was but just being a kind soul his watson's a great guy and he's done this stuff in the past so really nice to see but basically there was some drama going around about people making some land uh gold donations and such and they were getting shamed for it you know why how in the world could you do such a thing and begging people for money but he did basically go on and say if you got shamed for it whatever you know here's me just uh basically committing myself to going uh, out in the community to do this today and he went on for multiple multiple people and uh did exactly that so really big ups to his watson and just kind of wanted to give some positive light on that situation in the community also wanted to mention you guys may remember very well a guy by the name of panic apex now this guy was actually given some accusations in times past for the algs preseason qualifiers and many people found out that uh it looked like his video clips were very suspect and extremely suspicious and there was even a massive video we're going to touch on that in just a second but yesterday he actually tweeted out got a lot of feedback 174,000 views 500 and so likes saying i hate being called a cheater by the people i look up to daily imperial how here's my pov of the fight it is all love towards you then we've got some pro player responses and honestly a little bit of an update i guess to look at this player and his whole accusations since it's been a couple of months roll the clip Okay, that guy is shooting. That conduit might be shooting. No, no, bro, 100% cheating, bro. That guy just shot. How did he shoot me? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, it's the fat panic kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This guy you just shot me through up. the smoke completely with a havoc. Okay, I guess he just pre me, maybe? I don't know. He he may have got lucky, but I don't know. That guy's got a weird, weird situation. Bro, he was, on. he was 100% wall hacking off that remember know. those clips yeah i remember but it's a weird situation with him i don't know it's definitely got interesting i literally situation. waited for you to smoke and then i ran out the door and he was he almost one clip me running out like with a havoc i'm, I'm coming to you like you gotta have him get him no, he got it. what yeah i was in the building going for building pump bottle underneath him Oh, no. So shortly after this clip came out, pro player RKN for Team Sentinels came to the actual defense of Panic, which I thought was weird because most pro players seem to disagree. Most pro players definitely think this guy is cheating, but here's something to think about. So RKN says there's nothing suspect about this clip at all, not even marginally. Then, of course, you got Zara the Troll, which I think is funny, down in the comments. You're just saying this because you hate Hal. Like this tweet if you guys think RKN is just a Hal hater. RKN goes on, though, to say on his main page, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. You absolutely cannot keep dogging on the Panic apex kid if he's not getting banned by now bro cannot get non-stop accusated for months on end and still not get banned either a you guys are just douchebags or b the anti-cheat team absolutely is worthless and for all those people that are saying that i'm just writing i have zero affiliation with panic and i've never spoken to him in my life i'm just not with the whole everyone that kills me is cheating community now pause because quick side note imperial how eventually did respond i'm having to edit this in but he said you were shooting me through a smoke with a havoc and i assume maybe you were walling considering the amount of cheaters that are going around right now which is totally true because you'll see more about that in just a couple of seconds but he said plus i even said that you may have just pre-fired the hallway after I died. The people under the comments go get a life before speaking on something you have no idea what you're talking about. My God, it's not that deep. Now, Sweet Dreams also commented on this, which was very interesting because he was probably one of the biggest voices in all of this. And uh, honestly, I can't blame Sweet. When you see the video clips, you're going to think it is very suspicious. But the thing is, is while it was suspicious, he did try his best to explain everything. And like RKN suggests here, it is 
been months on end and there is still no banning of this guy's account it's really hard to believe that if there was no banning at all that honestly there's probably nothing to it and there's many of you that probably will say oh no that's not true because the anti-cheat team is worthless and that's why he's not getting banned but then on the flip side you're the same people that will say oh all these pro streamers just get anybody banned that they want to all they got to do is dm hideouts and he'll ban them you think hideouts didn't see this every single pro player was trying to get this guy banned every single pro player was saying you know hey look get this guy out of here if he's a cheater and honestly i do think they only want the truth they don't really want to get someone banned that's not cheating but to be fair hideouts was most definitely sent this guy's name he most definitely saw this clip all these pro players were definitely using their influence to get this guy banned and when the ban doesn't come through all of a sudden it's the anti-cheat team's worthless when it does come through all of a sudden it's that these pro players can get everybody banned that they want to get banned so pick a side pick a poison i do think simply the fact is if he hasn't been banned already maybe respawn has said something without saying any specific words sweet did say i cannot unsee that clip from algs so let's actually roll that clip of what he's talking about roll it i've i mean i've watched it recent and then play in tournaments so i, I mean i don't nope. know Talking about what the fucking Horizon just did? Yeah. This guy baiting? I'm just confused. Do you, you see that? He just shot. So, I, I mean, I don't no. know. No, no, no. Six three flash, six three flash. So, I, I mean, I don't no. know. And what was really, really interesting was Alberlelli also was one to comment to say, let's not forget everyone thought Skittle Cakes was cheating as well. And then obviously Skittle's a very renowned pro player in the scene, but Alberlelli was also the one that called Panic out and tweeted and blocked him saying, you know, I was going to give this guy a chance on Team Skirt. And, you know, it's just crazy to think that everybody keeps saying, give these young guys a chance. And it turns out they're always cheaters, blah, 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 blah. But now it seems like maybe he's redacted that statement. I'm not exactly sure, but of course, it seems like there's a lot of mixed opinions here. And I I can see why the clips that you know sweets referring to are crazy crazy suspect they make a lot of sense as to why he may have been cheating but then you have to think that surely respawns investigated his account and surely a ban would have come in by now and it hasn't and so it may just be that he simply wasn't I think we all know that there's an unspoken issue inside the scene right now with pro players and streamers sometimes saying things on stream that really have a lot of weight and they just simply don't care or maybe they don't ever speak about it after the fact they just say this guy's a stream sniper this guy's a cheater it ruins their career and whenever nothing comes out to be true about it they don't really go back on it or actually try to bring more light to it and regain that guy's career they're just like well whatever i don't really know but honestly this one's fair because there's a lot of different mixed opinions here but this continuous concept that so and so is a cheater and he hasn't been banned yet I don't know it's definitely an interesting one to say the least especially after you just watched the clip that we saw from the algs moments that he had so really interested to see how this one plays out though because i've always wondered how easy would it be to regain your reputation after you know some accusations from really big prominent pro players like that but it looks like he might be on his way to do exactly that or honestly it might just keep going down in the dirt if all these streamers keep talking like this but interested to see what you guys think on the matter and especially your results from the clips that you just watched also wanted to mention imperial how staying on the timeline today with a really big argument that many are taking it to twitter all on the same day uh honestly and it's kind of sad because it does seem like maybe apex is preoccupying themselves with the whole hacking situation as they should but because of that happening, it looks like there's a lot of fields that are being left out to dry. And the cheater situation is definitely one of them. In Imperial House saying the rank situation right now is completely infested with cheaters recently. And it has been pathetic. At least a couple of cheaters every single game just boosting other players. Who thought that no rank cap three stack was a good idea? This goes right back to the situation we were discussing, I think, with his Watson and many others the other day. Or it was Furious head coach JMO who was saying, basically, why in the world would you let a bronze or a rookie player play with a Masters? This was based off some old rank stuff that we had now that that's gone we really need to revert it back to having some restrictions here but also you have to think why in the world did we go backwards to actually having a level 20 requirement to play ranked 50 was definitely the move in my opinion i don't really understand why we went backwards on that lulu also saying apex is borderline unplayable with the amount of cheaters in rank right now 
far too many cheater preds it's unfortunate it really does suck and he says half of his lobbies are also missing players this is another trend we've been seeing in the scene and i don't know where this bug is coming from or what's causing this but he says the game is just straight on fire right now honestly ever since these hacks have happened so this is a clip of what a lot of people seem to be experiencing it ranked let me know if you guys are also experiencing this <laughs> minus 100 though yeah why well, must the minus 100 right. we just so today's looking in. like a minus 600 kind of day i don't know so here was a clip of Reed's experiencing this in ranked and as you can see round one here we are and i don't know what the deal is but we're stuck with two squads left and literally it's still round one with 30 seconds left i, I just i just don't under understand where this is coming from and how this bug just suddenly starts to happen but hopefully we get this stuff fixed soon hopefully apex in general gets back together soon because we definitely could use the help let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section below of course like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all things apex legends esports related a lot of you guys have been calling me out about my issues and you're rightfully so doing it uh like sometimes i'll be talking about a tweet and you know my screen looks like this i've got it cropped out cut off i gotta keep looking at my second monitor to make sure i'm in check but i will get that under control thank you guys for your comments and feedback down below we'll see you all in the next one take care of yourselves and until next time later gators